Hi guys and welcome to Life of Gaz where I put a new sea fishing video on every Wednesday and I also do a freshwater video every month as well. So if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and you can keep up to date with all this happening. Hi guys, welcome to Life of Gaz. Now it's westerly, it's only just gone westerly, it's burning 30 mile an hour, so it's a little bit on the strong side, but I've come out because it's only just started turning that direction, and sometimes that can work for me. Also, if I leave it another tide, you can see it turn up a little bit too much, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and get cast out, and obviously see if I can put some fish up on the side. Now, like I said, I'm fishing out here at the Red Bank Roadside, but I'm just going to show you guys the rigs that I'm using because over here on the wall, I've got um, a clip down panel just there. Uh, this has got one nose on it. I've got a clip down panel on the other side just there. That one's got four rows on it, and I'm going to put that one out a bit more distance. But if you have a look, you can see I'm using the seven top weight, and the reason for that is because that sea is uh, sorry, that wind's going to be hard to cast through, and also the sea itself is churned right up. ways into the flood I've moved up the wall a little bit now the reason for that is just because I had some railings uh, which weren't sort of too far to the north of me and I didn't want to lose gear on them so I've just moved to the other side of them but about an hour after uh, sort of everyone started fishing everyone behind me has packed up and gone so let's hope that's not a bad sign let's hope if I stick it out I can at least beat a blank Well guys, the frozen worm's doing the trick and I'm off the mark with a white tin. I'm surprised to see a white tin with it being as, uh, as sort of rough as this and the fact that that was only just close in. I thought if I did get a white tin it'd be a bit further out. But there you go, I've beat the blank already. Well unfortunately in the hard conditions, that is it. I managed to white tin and I beat the 
blank. But the video's not going to stop there. What I'll do is I'll head back out and I'll see if I can do a little bit better. So after that session filmed on the Gim War about three weeks ago, I've decided to come out and have a little do up at Rossall at night. And um, again, the fishing, it has been a little bit on the poorer side. Uh, we've had lots of easterlies and lots of rain and that's never a good sign. But I battled through and we caught a couple of fish here as well. Well, I've given it half an hour on that first cast. Looked like I had a bit of a bite, felt some weight, but I think that's just the weight dragging in the sand because the other rod done exactly the same. But uh, if you're fishing over a bank, that sometimes happens. But what I've done now is moved back up onto the um, onto the little cobbles up here, and hopefully, uh, that's, with the water getting deeper, I'm going to stand a better chance of getting into someone out there. Now I've been up on the cobbles a bit, I'll give it about 40 minutes, which is too long really, uh, before changing bait. And um, I had quite a bit of weed come up on the line. So what I'm going to do is drop that time now down to about sort of every 20 minutes. I'm just going to bring the rods in, check them over, fresh bait, throw them back out there. And hopefully if I just keep cycling like that, it's going to create a nice lot of scent out there and hopefully the fish will find it. guys I've beat the blank it's a tiny little wide thing and it's very thin with that as well so what I'm going to do is get this little guy on up send him back and then uh, throw that one back out there and hopefully there's something better than this little guy about So I've fished all the way up to high tide, I've had one tiny little white in. Now I've got up to high tide and we're running into the air. We've started to get a few bites, but they're very hit and run. One big pull down and then they're gone, which probably means it's little white in just playing with it. But I'm not managing to hook them. So what I've done is I've dropped the bait sizes right down, put the hooks really close together on the panels, and with any luck, I might snag one or two of them just to see what they are.
Well there you go guys, cutting the bait size down for it on the very first cast and I picked up a little rocklin. Now let's hope it's just not only rocklin out there. Let's see if they clear up and if any cover about, but we are getting into the ebb. So I'm not holding out a huge amount of hope. Well guys, unfortunately, uh, whatever was playing with me out there didn't manage to find its way to the beach. But, frustrating as it was, it was still an enjoyable session because I managed to just get out of the ice and I managed to catch a couple of tiny little fish. But, if you guys have enjoyed this session, make sure you hit the subscribe button down there. Check out my latest fishing video over there and my sea fishing playlist up top.